Good morning, everybody. My name is Kaylee Gartner. I'm calling from Treaty 6 territory in the homeland of the Métis. And my project was entitled Improving Opiate Agonist Therapy Treatment at the Westside Community Clinic. Our team's overall aim was to create a holistic treatment approach for people living with obese disorder and accessing care at the Westside Community Clinic. We had to divide this into two more achievable aims, which were number one, by May 2022, create a process for missed opiate agonist therapy or OAT appointments, and number two, by May 2022, begin a process for regular patient feedback. We created a process map and from that created the following driver diagram and fishbone diagrams. We identified missed OAT appointments as our first area of focus, as we noted variability between clinicians and confusion amongst our team. Missed OAT appointments were also a significant part of the addiction counselor's workload, time better spent interacting with patients. We measured missed OAT appointments at baseline and noted about a 40% no-show rate. Engagement on OAT pharmacotherapy is an important indicator of quality as high engagement reduces mortality and morbidity for people with opiate use disorder. Proactive prescription management strategies are demonstrated in the literature to improve engagement. Our first PDSA cycle was to create a standard missed appointment process by engaging our interdisciplinary team. We then communicated this change to our staff and patients. We will continue to measure the administrative workload for the addiction counselor to determine if our new process increases time for counseling and other therapeutic interactions. Our second PDSA cycle was to increase patient engagement. We started by hosting a group feedback session for quality improvement ideas guided by our patients. Our key reflections were that building a QI team during the pandemic when our staff was already overstretched and often burnt out was a challenge. However, the chance to step out of our daily roles and think about the bigger picture was well received by our team and we plan to continue uh, monthly meetings for moving our quality improvement ideas forward. We were able to standardize our missed OAT appointment process and time will tell if, with our measures if this was a positive change and if we can sustain it moving forward. People accessing OAT at Westside were eager to engage with groups. To increase participation of patient partners in the future for those experiencing structural barriers to good health, we would suggest options such as a cash honorarium, ensuring food, transportation and childcare are funded for future CREP projects. Thank you so much for your time.